Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make this quick video and bring this up to you guys and get you all's opinions on this. Some of you may have heard that Bed Bath & Beyond had stopped selling black jack-o'-lanterns amid complaints that the decorations were a form of blackface. So the backlash first arose after a law firm in New York had placed the pumpkins which were painted black with white eyes, nose, and mouth on their front porch as part of their Halloween display. So apparently somebody complained about the pumpkins and it reached the NAACP and the regional director said that the decorations showed an extreme lack of sensitivity and that it wasn't the pumpkin itself but what was done to the pumpkin. They said when you proceed to put the white eyes and the white mouth now you have crossed the line because it then goes into having blackface. So I was talking about this with a group of my friends earlier and when I first heard about this, you know, before I had even seen any of the pictures, my initial reaction was, wait, why are people getting offended by a pumpkin being painted black? You know, it's that time of year, Halloween is soon approaching, everything is like black and orange, so I just wasn't sure where the uh, offensiveness was coming in. Was it that they had painted like big red lips on the pumpkin? Like, did it resemble the typical blackface caricature that we are used to seeing? So I wasn't quite sure why people were getting offended. So one of my friends in this group who is African-American, he was basically saying that, you know, it's easy to say that people are being overly sensitive or they think that, you know, black people are just easily offended by everything, but that you have to take into consideration the history of blackface in this country and how it relates to African-Americans. Blackface was done as early as the early 1800s, and it was basically a full-on mockery of black people. Um, this was basically white people depicting how they viewed black people, and it was basically full of making stereotypes, you know? And so you always see them uh, painted with big lips, you know, the big eyes, and behaving in certain ways. So from that perspective, of course, I totally get it. I mean, what black person wants to be reminded of these type of things? And it's crazy to think that in 2019, this type of stuff is still happening. So again, I get that. Um, I guess my question was if this specific instance was in fact blackface. Um, because if you guys remember um, back when Gucci made these uh, sweaters and this clothes, I mean, that was blatant blackface. Like they weren't even trying to be discreet about it. So comparing that to these pumpkins, I don't know. I guess I just wasn't quite sure if I would have considered that blackface but again I just wanted to bring the question to you guys do you guys consider this to be blackface do you think it was you know something worth black people being offended so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below as always thanks for watching and I'll check you guys in the next video bye